Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. A familiar cyber attack suspect linked with the Russian intelligence service has resurfaced in the months leading up to the US midterm elections, according to Microsoft. The tech giant announced overnight that last week it executed a court order to disrupt six fraudulent websites set up by a hacker group known by many names most often APT28, but also Fancy Bear or Strontium, among others. The unit has been associated with the Russian spy agency GRU and blamed for a raft of high-profile hacks across the world in recent years including the breaches of the Democratic National Committee's network during the 2016 presidential election. In this case, Microsoft says the group established a half-dozen domains meant to be confused with two conservative groups, the US Senate and even Microsoft's own suite of products. Two of those targets, the nonprofit International Republican Institute and the Hudson Institute Research Center, have criticized the Kremlin. Microsoft says the International Republican Institute and the Hudson Institute were targeted with my-iri.org and hudsonorg-my-sharepoint.com and that three domain senate.group, at senate.services and at senate.email mimic the Senate. Microsoft itself appears to have been the focus of OFFICE365-ONEDRIVE.com. Microsoft notes that it has no evidence to indicate the domains were used in any successful attacks, or to conclusively determine their ultimate object. In this particular instance we believe we were able to act quickly enough that these specific sites were not used successfully, Brad Smith, Microsoft's president and chief legal officer, tells NPR. He adds that the latest activity clearly suggests that the hacker group is focusing on conservative organizations. Elizabeth Woskin of the Washington Post explains why the starkly similar domain names are significant and why Microsoft has a vested interest in shutting them down.